Hello and welcome to another video from Prof. Paul B. Uh, today we are going to write a little program in Java with our robots to um, to bring this is our robot called Guy. We're going to bring Guy to this thing uh, that's Street 5, Avenue 5 and we want Guy to bring the thing uh, across the wall to Street uh, Street 5, Avenue 6. Okay, so to do that uh, well, we could hard code, right? We see the wall is here. We could come down, pick it up, go up, go here, and just just hard code everything and bring it down. But uh, what we want our we want our robot to be a little bit smarter. We want we want to say, well, guy, we want you to bring that thing here. However, there may or may not be a wall, and if there is a wall we don't know how long the wall is. The only thing that we know for sure is that the wall will, um, there will be a space, no matter how long the wall is, there will be space north of it and a space, or I should say, um, there, yeah, a space that we can travel south of it. Okay, so there's going to be a road clear on the north side and on the south side. But apart from that, we don't know how long the wall is. So really, this pro this problem is we we want the robot to be um, to be able to to handle that situation. Okay. So what we're going to do first is the first thing I want to do is I want to turn him around, bring him here, bring him here, and pick up the thing. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do guy dot. Oops. Turn left to turn around. Guy dot. So if I turn left twice, that's like a 180 degree turn. And now what? Uh, what do I want to do? Oh yes, I want to go down. Okay. So and I just learned something new, which I I always like to use new things when I if it's appropriate to use them. Is I found out guy dot get street. It, wow, guy dot get street is not equal to. We want to go down to five, right? And let's open and close our braces. Right, we're gonna have guy dot move. Okay, you know what? Let's try that. It's always a good idea to compile often and to run often, just to make sure you're on the right track. Because if you do a whole bunch of coding, good. If you if you do a whole bunch of coding before you um, now, I, what do I want to do? I want to turn left. If you do a whole bunch of coding before you uh, compile, there might be more than one error, and it's sometimes it's hard to find uh, when there's multiple errors. It's always e it's always better to compile often. Okay, so what did I do here? I, I I copied a lot of stuff. Why did I copy all this stuff? Well, let me run it again without compiling, and um, see we got here. So now what I want to do is I want to turn left and I want to go all the way up to here. So I can I can use my this code except I only have to modify this to get get avenue. Okay, let's try that out. I'm going to compile and let's see how this goes. Oh, we're there. Cool. So now what we do is we do guy dot pick pick thing okay so we're gonna pick it up so now we're at the wall we're at the wall I didn't compile so it's not gonna pick it up but that's okay okay so we're at the wall and uh, remember one of the first criteria is there may, may there may not even be a wall so I'm actually gonna program that situation now so if there's not a wall then what does that mean that means that remember this really cool method called guy dot front is clear if guy dot front is clear so if it's clear that means there's no wall then it's pretty easy right remember because all we want to do is move once I'm going to do guy dot move and guy dot put thing okay so let's try let's I gotta kill this guy so let's try that out. Oops. Okay. So we go. We pick it up. Nothing happens. Why does nothing happen? 
because there is a wall. And here we're saying, well, if the front is clear. So let, let's clear the front. So I'm going to comment out the walls. What's that going to do? That's going to remove the walls. Uh, when you're programming, uh, it's always commenting as your very good friend. What, let's see. Let's see if it brings it here. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So commenting is a good friend of yours. Instead of deleting, because if, if you work on a lot of code and it doesn't work and you end up deleting it, and then later you say, hey, you know what? Half of that code was good. So instead of typing it, you can actually uh, go get it where it was commented. Of course, in a finished product, you want to take out all the dead code, all the commented code that uh, you don't need, then you take it out. But when you're building, there, there's nothing wrong with having commented code in there. Okay. And also see here, I used it just to test what for the to, to take out the wall, so instead of deleting this whole line and putting it back, I just um, I just comment it out. Okay, so now we took care of that situation where there's no wall, else there is going to be a wall. Okay, so what am I going to do in the else? So my first temptation is let's run it again without. Oh, I got to recompile it to get those walls back. Okay, and. Let's let's move. So the first thing I want to do is well, I'm going to try to go north, but I would move up. Well, I have to turn left first, move, and then turn right and check again. Okay, so let let's just do that. So first thing I would do, I was uh, I would guy dot turn left, guy dot move, and guy dot turn right. Okay, let's compile. Oh, what's going on? Uh, Becker, turn, oh, okay, you see. Yeah, turn right is not an instance method. Turn right is a static method of this class that we're working in. So this is how I have to invoke it. So let me compile again. Yeah. Okay, so we're working. And uh, let's go here. Cool. So now what do we want to do is we want to test if guy guy dot front is clear. And what are we gonna do? Then we'd move. Okay. So then we would move. Dot move. Guy dot move. Okay, so now let's compile. We're okay. Let's take a look at it. Well, oh, okay, that was a bit fast. But see, we ended up there. We didn't move. Why not? Because the front is not clear. But do you see what we have to do is we have to actually create a loop to keep going up, keep going up, go up street by street and check all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a while and opening brace and you know what I'm going to put the closing brace here and all this stuff is inside. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a while true. I just want to show you something because you can act while true what does that do? That's actually going to create an infinite loop but I do want to see what happens with the loop. Oops. So we're gonna go a little. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna see what happens if we get. Okay, we're gonna check. No, nope, check. No, nope, check. No, nope, check. Oh, yeah. Oh, we moved. Oh, oh, guy, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Uh oh, our guy's gone. Okay, there he is. Okay, so you know what? Look, it looks we're on the right track. But what do we want to do when the front is clear? Do we want to move, or do we want to get out of this this loop? Because this is our this is our wall checking loop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a break here. And let's compile. And to, let's try to run that and see how that goes. Voila. Okay, I'm going to stop the video right here and uh, we'll, we're going to continue in a little bit.